Stevenson beats Lebanon Valley 15-12 in the Mac Commonwealth quarterfinals. Glenn Clark, Coach Kathy Raley. Coach, there was a lot going on tonight. There was there was all sorts of stuff happening. I don't even know where to start. Let, let me start here. Early on, you had an issue with the draws. You you made it seemed like a chess match the rest of the way. How critical was it to get that solved in order to pull out a victory tonight? You know, so critical. It was you, both teams are are offensively powerful, um, and and to get that draw and to get that possession, especially when we don't quite have the depth in the midfield to run fresh legs. We want our art to use every bit of energy of our midfielders on attack. Mm -hmm. We don't want them to have to play defense before they play attack. So that was really key, I think. You know, we just we just kept trying to different solution, uh, different uh, cast of characters until we found the right clicking group. You know, it, it's wanting it more. It came down to a lot wanting it more. We were often after those first couple first to touch the ball and then we were 50 percent maybe to get possession of that then it changed to maybe we're 60 per touching it first and coming up with possession so that that um intensity on ground balls made a huge difference no question, no question. um as the game went on you were trying to pull away uh a couple of goals were taken off well, the board yeah. how how deflating can that be for a team and what had to happen mm -hmm. in order for you guys to respond and make sure that didn't doom you in the end? Well, I kept thinking, do I need to take a timeout and talk about this? Do I need to take a timeout and talk about this? Because it can be deflating if you allow it to be. And and I looked I looked right at Hannah and I said, you you can't let this affect your game. You you just get, just keep playing hard, keep going to goal. She had somebody else's stick. It was so dewy out tonight that all the pockets, it was as if it was pouring down rain for an hour. Like, so, so we did talk about that. And I don't think we ever lost a spark on either one of those. We made some errors defensively tonight, no doubt about it. We were very focused on our girls and not as focused on Team D as I would have liked to have been. But I didn't see a level of intensity drop, a disappointment that those goals were taken away. It, it, at no point did I think we weren't going to get that game anyway. Hmm. So... Mm, that's great. That's tremendous. All right, you you mentioned Hannah and you brought her and Kara over, and they were both. Look, Caroline obviously. They, you know, Always. She she yeah. scores six goals in her sleep sometimes. <laughs> I think she does. Um, take me through. I thought, in, particularly with these two players, it wasn't just they scored goals tonight. They did a little bit of everything when you needed them. Let's start with Kara because in solving some of that at the yeah. draw, it yeah. seemed like she was a huge part of it. She she was the part of it yeah. that we needed. She was the solution we needed. Um, not only did she help us get it a few more times to where we wanted it to go, she was crucial on the ground balls that were just the crazy ones where you never know, is it going to end up at your feet? Is it going to be 20 yards away? She was crucial at just finding it, running through it, picking it up, and doing something with that possession. She truly did not play like a freshman tonight. Mm -hmm. She played as confident as I've ever seen her. Her head was up. She, her, her acceleration was fantastic. In a couple games in the past, she's made herself super tiny and she slowed her feet, and we've been trying to talk to her about that and just make herself big and go, and boy, did we see that tonight. And then Hannah not just scoring a couple, with a couple of really great passes right. as well to yep. set up goals, doing a lot of things. The reason why I chose these two is whether we had the ball, possession of the ball, or we didn't, they were key. Hannah Huff was key in allowing the middies to get back get a breath and be able to play defense by the way she was riding today. Um, she was slowing the ball. She was forcing them out of bounds. They, she was forcing them to a back pass, just clicking seconds off of their shot clock. Kara was fantastic on both ends of the, the draw. Fantastic as a team defender down on the defensive side and just popping in goals and making great choices on the offensive side. And that's not easy to do when I didn't sub them. <laughs> Before we let you go... Quick turnaround, uh -huh. big test. Big test. How did, how's it different this time? I think we know we can do it. We, we have some problems to solve in, in, in our clear right now. We're not working as a unit. We're working one at a time in the clear. So if we can solve the clear problems, and uh, I think you know we were pretty darn close, if not 50-50 with them on the draw, so we're gonna, we made some draw adjustments. Um, we feel like we can get ourselves some possessions, and we are going to wear down their D a little more. We're going to utilize the clock a little bit better when we see them. You know, if, if, if our defense has a good game and our goalie has a good game, we're in it. I think we're in it. Let's go do it. Yes, let's, let's go, go do, do it. it. Thank you. Coach Kathy Thank Raley, you. appreciate it as always. Let's Thank bring you. Hannah over next. Hannah Huff, two goals, two assists tonight.
She's going to join us here in GoMustangSports.tv. Stevenson getting the win in the Mac Commonwealth quarterfinals. Hannah, um, you know, what this game meant to everybody, uh, you know, a tough couple of games down the stretch. How were you guys able to bounce back and get this job done tonight? Yeah, this game really means a lot to all of us. Um, it just came down to how bad we wanted it. You know, we wanted it really bad, and it showed. We worked really hard. You, know, you did everything well as this game went on. Uh, for you personally, being a bit more assertive offensively, saying, I, I need this to go through me a little bit. Where has that come from uh, in recent weeks, and how comfortable are you, are you as being that player? Uh, I mean, Coach always encourages me to have confidence and stuff, and my teammates always have a lot of confidence in me, and I just think it comes down to everyone wanting to work really hard and how bad you really want it. What's it going to take to go beat Messiah on Thursday? How bad we want it. You know, it's hard work. <laughs> you want it pretty bad, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, who do we need to give shout-outs to? Who's who's watching at home? Who do we need to give a shout-out to? Thank them for everything they've done for you. My parents. All right, so yeah. you want to do Say, who, what do you need to say to him? Hi, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. Hannah, congratulations on a great game and a big win. Thank you. Hannah Huff. Now, let's bring over Carrie Russo. First year, didn't play like one tonight. Four goals, as well as being huge in the draws. Carrie, we were just talking about the draws with Coach Raley. Um, it wasn't going your guys' way to start out. You got put into that spot. What changed? What? How were you able to change momentum and start winning draws for this team? Um, personally, I think it was just like a lot of mindset because at least for me, like when I'm up there, I'm just constantly reminding myself like we need this one, we need this one, and you kind of just take it one draw at a time and go from there. I mean, it started going your way, and then from there it built offensively. Did you did you feel something tonight? Did you know you had a big night in you? Um, I don't know. I was just kind of playing hard the whole time. You never know when the season's going to be over. So at this point, if you're not playing hard, then why are you playing? Sure, <laughs> no doubt about it. it. You know, we we talk about you being a first year. You've you've been good all throughout the course of this season. How confident are you at this point, having played enough of these games, being in big spots, that that you can be this type of player for this team, despite the fact that you haven't been around as long as everybody else has? Yeah, the team definitely like has my back through everything I think that's like a lot of help because I know like if I make a mistake or do something that might not have been the best choice like everyone's always there like oh you'll get the next one and it goes a long way especially for a freshman because I'm constantly like not constantly but I get nervous sometimes and like hearing the reassurance helps a lot that's awesome that's awesome all right we learned something about you tonight you have four (laughs) sisters four sisters it's got to make you tough, right? Like yeah. that's got to go a long way. And on and you're are you smack dab in the middle? Yeah, I'm the middle child. Wow, and we're all K's. We're all K's. I didn't realize that. Jeez. Uh, how are we gonna work on making sure we get uh, your two younger sisters to come join you here at Stevenson in the, in the, the coming years? They were both here tonight, so yeah. they saw some good play. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, hey, can, uh, who do you want to shout out? Who do you want to give shout outs to? Oh, I'll shout out my whole family. Love oh. them. Thanks for watching me. Awesome. Hey, congratulations on a huge night and a great win tonight, Kara. Thank you. Kara Yaruso, first year, four goals tonight. Stevenson gets the big win in the Mac Commonwealth quarterfinals. Messiah on Thursday. This is GoMustangSports.tv.